thank you everyone for being here today. This is truly a historic event, um, and uh, and I'm very humbled to, to be surrounded by by everyone here. Um, I'm more than grateful for the contributions made to the Building Watt campaign from concerned citizens the world over, especially from the people you will hear from today. The truth of this event does save countless lives. Uh, my uncle Tom was the rock and the light and the man in our family that kept us all together. And uh, when we lost Uncle Tom, uh, things changed. And I always say that I lost three family members from this event because shortly thereafter, my grandparents, who I was caring for, uh, lost their battle to Alzheimer's and cancer. Um, this was their youngest son, my uncle, who um, really sustained them. So um, this, my uncle's murder has far-reaching effects um, on my family, but also on families throughout the world. Um, these actions are about family, uh, yours, mine, countless others, really the human family. Uh, what we're doing is ensuring the safety of our loved ones, friends, neighbors, our communities, by revealing the details of what happened on September 11th, a crime that continues to be investigated daily by researchers, uh, scientists, some journalists, and so many from a vast range of disciplines. We are truly changing perceptions as well as correcting the public record. Ultimately, we are changing the world for the better. For the record, I was a card-carrying Republican who believed the government's story for years. I was also in the Air Force Public Affairs. Uh, I won the highest award at the base, uh, primarily for uh, editing the base newspaper at, at the last uh, place I was stationed at. Uh, this is a reason why uh, I really didn't grasp what really happened on September 11th for so long. Um, I've worked with different groups over the years. Uh, we are change, uh, different. We are change groups, different 9/11 truth groups, and I'm still so humbled by what so many people are doing who weren't as directly affected as myself and some other family members here, you'll hear today. Uh, just this past anniversary, we set up a third beam of light to represent. Uh, WTC7, uh, blocks north of the World Trade Center site, it had a profound effect on those who witnessed such a simple yet inspiring action. Uh, this event here today will do the same. Working with the local government in New York City, we continue to reach out to council members and ask for hearings about Building 7, and we need to reach out to the citizens of New York City and raise awareness about this part of the unsolved crime. We are succeeding, and the reason is because of the tireless efforts not only of tireless efforts, but more importantly from the support of everyone who has donated to this cause. I want to thank everyone who has donated, and I want to ask everyone to continue to donate what you can so we can continue uh, to get the word out and get vital information to the public. Um, I want to mention we can talk all we want about fires or explosives or we can speculate or theorize, though the basic fact of free fall explains it all. Governments lie, people lie, the laws of physics do not. We're getting we're, and we're getting this empirical evidence into people's homes, uh, where it should have been for the past 10 years. We are allowing for people to learn about this event in their own living room, as well as to play a role in the comprehensive investigation we all deserve. Since the failure of the corporate controlled media to properly cover the subject, we must be the press. RememberBuilding7.org. At Ground Zero, which I am often at on Saturday mornings, handing out free information uh, to people, uh, citizens as well as tourists, it's amazing how uh, Europeans and people from outside the country know so much more about the events. Um, I ask, why do we know more about the Jersey Shore than we know about the third tower to fall on September 11th? WTC7, or even the tower that has already been built in its footprint, completed in 2006. And I point to the new building set, and conversation begins. This information we re reveal today allows for lives to be saved 
and allows us to heal. I have great hope we can reach so many people who can critically think, logically reason, and take action when approached with the vital information about my uncle's murder. To this day, there has yet to be a proper trial for any family member. Though on June 13th of this year, the Davis family, one of close to 100 families who have attempted to bring litigation to the federal courts, will have their day in court. Unfortunately, the Davis family's trial will be heard in the courtroom of Alvin Hellerstein, who has been instrumental in blocking justice for years now. At a recent hearing, he stated he wants summations as well as a narrative for this timed trial, stating shockingly, I don't think we need witnesses to tell us the history of September 11th. It's not a good idea to go back to the root causes of what the terrorists did, as it's all well laid out in the 9-11 report. The gasps in the courtroom were similar to when Judge Edward Lerner spoke the words of Bill White. Ellen Mariani, another family member, also continues to fight for her day in court. She is under gag order. Can you imagine a family member put under gag order close to 10 years after her husband's death? We can change this. And we will. We will continue to reach out to the New York City Council and the Manhattan District Attorney to hearings concerning WTC7 that we all deserve. When meeting with New York City Councilwoman Carmen Arroyo, she said it's going to be tough to approach the New York City Council with this information because of the implications, especially insurance fraud. She's telling us what issues even the legislature has to deal with. New York City Councilman Dan Halloran also says there's a lot of questions about Building 7, though to get back to him uh, as well when we find more support in the council, that's very telling. People need to feel comfortable to speak about this objectively. We've met with a quarter of the New York City Council and continue to meet with them. This is an event which changed my family and the rest of the world. We own an infinite ability to break through the ongoing psychological operation that is being used against free-thinking people and make a difference. We are doing that today. When, tr when true-to-life heroes of mine, such as Donna Marshall Connor and Patty Casaza, both whom I met for the first time here in Connecticut three and a half years ago, and Lori Van Auken, uh, who was even part of the NIST question and answer session, uh, asking, did NIST interview Larry Silverstein to find out why he said there was such a loss of life we decided to pull it? To which Shine Sunder replied, no, we did not interview Larry Silverstein. We are a technical scientific investigation, so we place that importance on scientific facts. Yeah, right. Um, when family member Bill Doyle says publicly, it's documented proof that Tower 7 was not hit by a plane, yet it goes up in flames, and then the owner of uh, the place ordered it to be pulled, and all of a sudden it exploded straight down. Uh, he adds, it looks like there was a conspiracy behind 9-11 if you really look at the facts. A lot of families feel the same way. When family member Michelle Little says, we must hold those involved accountable for this atrocious tragedy, my brother David and ten brothers from his unit were murdered on 9-11. For them and for all our mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles that died that day, it is imperative for their lives that we know the truth. I do what I, I do for people such as, people I consider heroes. Mike McCormick, Charlie Giles, John Cetera, John Schroeder, Craig Barmer, Joey Maraska, all first responders, all are sick and the countless others who are sick because of our government lies. Even Shelton Langford, uh, who's in charge of the military officers for 9-11 Truth, ha has his support, stating at a press conference this past anniversary on the steps of City Hall, I support the Building What campaign that identifies Building 7 as a vital piece of evidence that flatly contradicts the propagandist papering over of facts attempted by the 9-11 Commission report and NIST. He also continues, if the truth will indeed set us free, then it is essential that we demand the truth. 